Laura Kusenberger, while she asked the chair of the OBL, the Office of Budget Responsibility, a very awkward question. And the expression on his face said it all. She asked, would the UK's economy be stronger if we were still in the European Union? You know, if all of the numpties didn't put that cross in the wrong box back in 2016. Because I didn't. I put it in the right box. How about you? Leave it in the comments down below. How much stronger would the economy be if we'd stayed in the EU? We think that in the long run, it reduces our overall output by around 4% compared to had we remained in the EU. How would you describe 4% though? Would that be the equivalent of another conflict or a smaller pandemic? Uh, I, I struggle to put it in any kind of sensible, uh, sensible context. I mean, it is, it's, it's a shock to the UK economy of, of, of the order of magnitude of the sorts of other shocks that we've seen from the pandemic, from the energy crisis, those have also had percentage point impacts on the level of output in, in five, ten years' time. Phew, five to ten years? Is that all we're going to have to wait? After we were all told by that Dothcat Borlock, Jacob Reese mogg the wheel and pencil, that we're all going to have to wait 50 years to see the benefits of Brexit? Well, I think it's about 47 now. Hmm, maybe. Coke had go. Uh, maybe he wasn't telling a lie. Maybe he was telling the truth when he told us all. When he stood there doing the Vote Leave campaign, that was all going to be a wonderful. In the simplest of terms, can you describe what our trading relationships would look like? We would be part of a free trade zone that extends from Iceland to the Russian border, that includes all the nations of the European landmass, apart from Russia and Belarus. By being part of that free trade zone, we would have full access to the European market, but we would be freed from EU regulation. Well, I think I'm going to have to take that back. I do apologise, but it's obvious Michael Cokehead Gove is a feckin' liar.